The city of St. Pete is trying to figure out what's killing birds in Coffee Pot Bayou. Many left to wonder if recent sewage spills are to blame. But as ABC Action News reporter Kira Mashik tells us, something else may be in the water. The waters of Coffee Pot Bayou in St. Pete are calm and pristine, but the last few days, a not so pleasant sight. 15 dead pelicans floating to shore. It's traumatic. We can do better. On top of the dead birds, another 31 are very sick and are recovering at places like Seaside Seabirds Sanctuary in Indian Shores. The birds were coming in. They were very lethargic, bloated abdomens. Their eyes were swollen. Uh, a lot of a lot of symptoms that are together that we really can't put together what's happening. The city is taking the matter seriously, while many are eager to point the finger at recent wastewater dumps in the bay. The city insists that's highly unlikely. What could be connected a nearby fish kill linked to temperature changes. We're going to try and get the science right, and we're going to make sure that whatever's causing this, um, we identify it. Lots of water samples are being taken and the city's contracting with area scientists to pinpoint the pelican problem. As a precaution, it's posted signs like this, urging everyone not to use the water. I love to see how the scientists are taking action and gathering information. We need real data here. We can't just sit by and wait, wait for the tide to wash this out. The good news, the problem does seem to be improving. After 15 dead birds this weekend, only one pelican was found dead today. At Seaside Sanctuary, hospital staff is working round the clock to nurse the sick birds back to health and could use volunteers and donations to keep up. In St. Pete, Karamashik, ABC Action News.